Hi guys and welcome to this episode on the return to Ascent. So my first day here, look at the light behind me on Loch Inver itself, absolutely fantastic. In this episode I'm going to show you some amazing sights. If you looked at my last Ascent uh, up at Skirtor with the sandstone stacks, I'm going to show you something even better. Stay tuned. So guys, this uh, location where I'm at now, what three words on the screen now of uh, this little bay itself is fantastic. So what three words on the screen? Uh, this location itself, um, I've only just got here, but I'm gonna scout out some more locations in and around these bays here, get different perspectives of uh, Loch Inver itself and push up into the high ground behind me over here on the coastline and get views of Solvin itself. But uh, tide's coming in, I'm hungry and I need food. See you soon. Hi and morning guys and welcome back. So this next location I am at, uh, you've probably seen this a few times on other uh, photographers vlogs but I think it's absolutely spectacular and hopefully this morning I'm going to get some really good images. So I'm at Wailing Widow Falls. Three words, locator on the screen now for you. Uh, fabulous conditions this morning and uh, I'm just going to make my way up the, to the actual waterfall and uh, hopefully get some really good images. So I'll see you there. Hi guys, so I've made it to the other side of the, uh, the actual stream itself, just behind me. <clears throat> and uh, I'm doing uh, more of an intimate shot here um, of the actual waterfall. Uh, my settings for this one, I'm at F9, I'll slow the shutter speed down to half a second. Uh, manual settings, I've got a circular polarizer just to give it that extra little bit of a stop. But yeah, and it's working out a, a right treat. You'll see all my images as per this episode and the previous episodes, all the same. I'll put all my images on at the end. But absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to play around here, getting some uh, low intimate shots. I might push back and uh, get a bit of the sky in as well. But I'll, we'll see how that one turns out. But absolutely fantastic location. Do check this out. It's on the uh, NC500 route. But uh, awesome. So anyway, I'm going to play around and you'll see my images on at the end. And uh, yeah, brilliant. See you soon. Hi guys, and uh, a lovely, lovely rainy morning from Acid here. So this morning, I'm just capturing, I'm, I'm actually on the, uh, the west side of Loch Ardrick, and these clump of trees in the water make a lovely subject for, I think, which is gonna turn out to be a lovely black and white image. Uh, I've set up my camera down at the bottom here, uh, three stop, and I've got a, a 0.3 for the sky, because it doesn't need that much, and it's slow, giving me 25 seconds on my shutter speed uh, on manual. Uh, I'm at 35 mil and it's turning out quite nice. Believe me, 
80% or 90% of the time when you're in the asset itself, the weather is going to be like this. Don't count me on the facts and figures, but yeah, it is like this. Most of the time it's not always glorious sunshine. So yeah, anyway, let's move on and I'll see you at next location. See you soon. Hi guys, so welcome to the next location. It's a bit blowy and windy today, so I thought I'd revisit a location I do like to uh, come back to. Uh, I think it's always a nice place to uh, visit. So it's Clacktoll Beach with the split rock in the background. Excellent location. I'm after a black and white image from this location itself. And on my camera at the minute, I have got uh, a 10 stop, 0.6 hard grad for the sky. I'm at two and a half minutes at the minute. Manual, just focusing on these lovely, lovely lines here you can see down in the rocks and split rock in the background. Uh, I can see that being a nice black and white. I'm gonna push around and I'll probably end up just short of the split rock where I can get a nice detailed shot, hopefully. But I wanna get some motion shots of the water as hurt itself with the split rock in the background. Clack Toll Beach and I'm doing the uh, split rock. I'm gonna do different compositions on this. I'm gonna do a black and white. I'm gonna do close up, uh, motion of the water. It, I know, I see you, sweetheart. My little, my little doggy. She always comes with me. Uh, yeah, so I'm slowing the, uh, the water down here to uh, just a 0.4 of a second, half a second with the uh, split rock in the background. Makes quite a nice picture, I think, anyway. I'm gonna push around, get some uh, black and white images of uh, split rock itself from the actual mainland back here. But the tide is actually coming in now, so I'm gonna hurry this up. I'm gonna be stuck on this little island of a rock. So I'll see you soon, bye for now. Hi guys and welcome to the next location. So, this location here where I'm at at the minute, what three words on the screen? Cull more sandstone stacks. So I'm at, it's basically known as the um, Culmore uh, Pinnacles. But this is not hit behind me. I, I shall turn around and I shall show you. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. In the distance here is Solvan. So it's just peeking through the clouds at the minute. But hopefully that is gonna lift. And uh, fingers crossed, I'm gonna stay here for a bivvy up and uh, stay here for sunrise in the morning as well. But I might push up to Culmore, it's up in the clouds at the minute, for a sunrise because the sandstone stacks up there are absolutely phenomenal. But this in front of me is something else. It sort of reminds me of a uh, Scorto in a way, but it's a lot, lot bigger. And uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna get any selfies stood on the top there today because that is uh, probably a a v diff climb or something like that but hopefully fingers crossed i can get solvent in the background with the, this in the foreground and obviously the landscape down here absolutely fantastic so remote this place if you're not mountain savvy do not come here um, you can end up with a serious injury so yeah let's see how we get on and i'll probably see you in a minute hi guys uh, so i've come off the ridge line where i was at that um, stack which is just behind me up here uh, i've actually pushed into the quarry as you can see behind me nice and dark it's actually uh, out the wind a bit i didn't fancy a bivy up there on that ridge the wind was blowing a hoolie uh, obviously rockfall as well so hopefully there's no rockfall here in the curry itself but uh, yeah look at that for waking up to a view tomorrow morning 
it's over in there lock us in and uh, hopefully fingers crossed it's a nice sunrise in the morning if not it's uh, been worth a try anyway and uh, I did get a couple of images up there but nice and misty and moody but we'll see and we'll see how they turn out so see you in the morning folks bye for now Hi folks and morning and what a contrast from last night so I was up at 5 30 this morning I uh, bivied down at the quarry made my way up this morning in darkness head torch on obviously didn't want to sleep here tonight and bivy up on this ridge because this sandstone is so brittle and the wind is picking up at the minute and I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod Thank you. 